Hello student, my name is Vagyadip Kalal from Algea Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the, my online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning subject. Today I will discuss numerical terms used in air distribution and air outlet chapter related to duct design. Okay, let's start terms used in air distribution. Which type of terms used in air distribution? The terms used in air distribution the first terms is a outlet. What do you mean by the outlet? It is an opening through which air is supplied to the conditioned space. That is, suppose this is our ducts and it's our room. So air is supplied to this into the room with the help of these outlets. Okay. So you see in the shopping malls and your home, the outlet, indoor unit like a that's cross section area, rectangular area, circular area, that is a outlets. Next is intake. What do you mean by the intake? It is air opening through which air is returned from space. Space to again return to the air. So that is the intake. More as a intake. Where is intake? So grill. What is the mean of grills? Grills provide a decorative covering for the outlet or inlet. Okay. Grills are provided for outlet. Grills are provided for decorative covering for an outlet and inlet that is a grill okay so you just see the portion that is a grill on air conditioning system that is known as a grill it attached on outlet or inlet next is what is diffuser it is an outlet grill designed to guide the direction of air this this uh, to guide the air at outlet okay that is known as a diffuser uh, register. What is the meaning of register? It is a grill provided with a damper or control volume. Next is drop. It is a vertical distance. It is a vertical distance that the lower edges of the horizontally projected air stream drops between the outlet and the end of throne. End of throne. Next, primary air. It is the air delivered to outlet by the supplied duct. Just remember only definition or we just remember only the terms, not necessary to just definition, just only ask in the exam for 2 to 3 marks only, which type uh, terms explain the term used in the air distribution system. Next is secondary air. What is secondary air? It is an air which is the primary air stream in enter by the passage of primary air through enclosure. Next is total air, mixture of both. Both is what? Primary and secondary air. That is a mixture of, that is known as a total air. Next is induction ratio. What is the meaning of induction ratio? The ratio of total air to the primary air. The ratio of total air to the primary air is known as an induction ratio. Next is type of air outlet. Which type of outlet provided to air condition system? First is grilled outlet. This outlet have an adjustable bar grill which are most common type of with vertical horizontal vents with vertical grills with vertical or horizontal vents are provided that is known as a grill next this is our grill or this is core duct width and a frame on frame these grills are attached like a window we see like a window okay that design Next is slot diffuser. What is slot diffuser? It is an elongated outlet with an aspect ratio. Just remember aspect ratio of this slot type of diffuser is 25 gem 1 or 25 is to 1. And maximum height of this grip is 7.5 cm. They are used in a side wall but at a higher height of the floor. Next is ceiling outlet. There is a ceiling outlet. Okay, they are mounted in the ceiling, mounted on the ceiling, multi passes round. This is multi passes round, square or rectangular are most common type of ceiling outlets. Next is type of air outlet. Next, perforated ceiling. Perforated ceiling is nothing but in this case, confined space above the ceiling is used as the supply plenum. The air from the plenum is supplied to the room through small holes or slot. The air is supplied at the rate of 0.3 to 4.5 meter cube per meter square of the floor area. Next, this is our rate. There is meter cube is a floor rate and meter square is the area per area. Floor rate per area. They are specially suited for large zone. They are specially suited for large zone. Large which 
Which type of ceiling? That is a perforated ceiling type. Okay, perforated ceiling type. Next is location of outlet. Where is location of outlet? That is a wall, ceiling, and floor. Where we uh, attach this outlet at wall, ceiling. Okay. So next is our numericals based on duct design. Let's start numerical. A circular duct of 40 cm is selected to carry air in an air conditioning space at a velocity 440 meter per minute to keep the noise level at desired level. If this duct is replaced by a rectangular duct, if this duct is replaced by a rectangular duct of aspect ratio of 1.5, Find out the size of rectangular duct for equal friction method for equal friction method when the velocity of air in two duct is the same. And second one is a discharge rate of air in the two duct is the same. So we calculate the uh, design of duct. First case one is a velocity is same in both duct and second is discharge is same. So given data is like a uh, circular duct that is a diameter is given that is a 40 centimeter carry a air with velocity is 440 meter per minute so it converted into per second and noise level at desired level and what is given aspect ratio of rectangular that is a ratio of this is b width and a okay or we can say d b by d ratio that is a b by d ratio is given that 1.5 this is the data are given in the numerical. So let's start to do numerical. So D is the diameter is 40 centimeter converted into meter 0.4 meter velocity 440 meter per minute and aspect ratio A by B that is a 1.5. So size of duct when velocity of air passing through the rectangular and circular duct is same. So what is the formula? D is equal to 2AB divided by A plus B. So we put the all the values which is given in the numerical and calculate weights. B 0.333 meter or we can say 33.33 centimeter. So we calculate A is equal to 0.4999 meter or you can say 49.99 because we give the aspect ratio that is A by B 1.5. Next is size of duct when the discharge of air passing through the rectangular air or and the circular duct is same. What is the formula? That is the formula D is equal to 32 A cube B cube divided by A pi square A plus B raised to 1 fifth raised to 1 fifth and the standard formula just remember this formula for when discharge is the same. Okay. So put all the values which is given in the numerical and calculate the diameter. This is B. Uh, Calculate the B which is equals to comes B is equals to 29.8 centimeter that is a width of rectangular duct. So area is 1.5 into B because of this is given aspect ratio is given. So A is what? A is equals to A is equals to nothing but A is equals to 44.7 centimeter. Okay, just we apply two formulas for if Q discharge is same for rectangular for circular and this is formula for when velocity for uh, circular and velocity for rectangular are same. Okay, just remember two formula and calculate uh, value of A and B. Now next problem a duct of rectangular cross section rectangular cross section is given that is a 600 mm and that is a 400 mm carries 85 meter cube per minute that is a flow rate is given okay of air having density rho is given density is given that is 1.16 kg per meter cube that is a flow rate that is a discharge q is given determine the equivalent diameter of the circular duct equivalent diameter of circular duct when quantity of air flow rate in both cases are same and when velocity of the air in both the cases is same take friction small f value of small f 0 0.01 and also calculate pressure loss per 80 meter length of duct that is a or 80 meter length l is given so now given data is what <coughs> this is the given data 600 mm converted into meter 0.6 b is a width that is a 400 mm that is a 0.4 meter q that is a discharge 85 meter cube per minute and f is a what frictional factor l is a length 80 meter and rho is a density of air 1.16 kg per meter cube rho is a density 
size of duct when discharge is same. What is the size of duct discharge is same? We use the formula just uh, we apply in previous slide that is the diameter formula. Put all the value whatever given in the numerical that is a 0.6 b is a four bit discharge is given. So put all the values and we calculate the diameter when discharge is same that is a 0.5373 meter. Okay, this is the diameter of this one. Size of duct when velocity is same. What is the formula d? d is equals to a into b a plus b it is a formula 2ab 2ab divided by a plus b and put all the values a is given b is given so calculate the 0.48 diameter is 0.48 now next condition velocity of air passing through the duct first of all calculate the velocity uh, how to calculate the velocity so we know that the continuity equation 2 is equals to ab area of for both circular and rectangle we know that because of uh, uh, diameters also we calculated so now v is q by a q is 85 area of rectangular so velocity is 5.903 meter per second so next m with this what is m m is nothing but this is a d dh means the hydraulic mean depth we calculate hydraulic mean depth m here dh is stands in respect of n okay a by b a is what a b divided by perimeter is what 2 a plus b so put all the value and we calculate the 0.12 meter that is the hydraulic mean depth and we know that the pressure formula pf equals to fl v square divided by 2 dh okay so put all the values pf fl v over v square 2 dh so put all the values whatever given in the numerical and we calculated all the values so finally pressure a uh, friction losses are uh, due to friction pressure loss due to friction that is given 134.735 newton per meter square or is equals to 134.735 divided by g 9.81 so calculated in the head pressure loss in the duct in terms of head in terms of head because we know that in terms of head h is equals to pressure by rho g. We know that h is equals to p by rho g in fluid mechanics. And pressure is what? Pressure is the this one. So put all the value density. We know that uh, this is the gravity. So calculate pressure loss in terms of duct. In terms of duct, this is the formula of pressure loss in duct. Just if we m so, so replace f l rho v square divided by 2 dh replaced by m m and dh are equal m sometimes m is called hydraulic mean depth sometimes dh is called dh so value friction factor is given at is a length rho density and velocity we already calculated in previous slide 2 into 0 0.12 that's the mean depth hydraulic mean depth and calculated final the value